Hi, this is Paul Secor. I'm the Executive Director for the American Society for Gravitational and Space Research. And with us today, we have a gold sponsor for our 2022 conference in Houston, which is Redwire. And representing Redwire is Mr. Rich Bowling. Rich, thank you for being here today. I'm excited to talk to you. Paul. Thank Thanks. you. Well, it's great to have Redwire as a sponsor. I know you're a very innovative company. Uh, so tell us about what your organization does and, and what kind of projects you're involved in. Yeah. Redwire is a global leader in space infrastructure. We provide the foundational building blocks that are enabling the most complex space missions. From power to payloads and structures to software, our innovative solutions, subsystems, and components are the critical mission-enabling technologies that are making possible some of the most impactful space missions and operations of today and the future. Wow. Okay. So then talk about cutting edge, right? You, you guys are right on that cutting edge of uh, space research. Now, when you look at the company, um, what are some things that people are are may, might not know about it or kind of surprised to know? I know you have a, a really strong background of in-house researchers. So maybe you could tell us about that. Sure, sure. So, you know, sort of from my opening description, you might not kind of understand or get the idea of the, the breadth and depth. And that's a, your question is a good one. Um, starting right from our uh, in-house scientists and engineers at our at our core in, uh, in our in-space manufacturing operations group within Redwire, um, we're here to serve investigators like the members of ASGSR. So not just engineering, we have engineers certainly in-house and on staff, um, but a lot of scientists, life and physical science scientists who have been PIs and, and continue to be PIs on investigations uh, across the gamut. And, uh, and I think we're, we're great partners for, for our members of the society who wanna do space research. And then what you might not know uh, from that description, again, is outside of life and physical sciences, research and manufacturing, Redwire has the rollout solar arrays powering the International Space Station. They have the uh, solar panels that power the DART spacecraft that just uh, smashed into a, a, an asteroid and sort of redirected its, its orbit, right? Um, yeah. Cameras that are on board the Orion uh, spacecraft about to launch on SLS. Uh, navigational systems are all part of the Redwire portfolio of technologies. Wow. So you guys can even claim connection to the DART mission, huh? Absolutely. Powering the DART mission. Wow. Hey, that, that's an important thing, right? You can't you can't destroy an asteroid without some power, right? Right. Well, this is great. So I know you have a long standing history with ASGSR. So tell us, I know personally you've been involved for I believe decades, right? That's um, it. That's right. That's and then right. and I know and I know Redwire and your predecessor company was involved as well. Tell us why it's so important for you uh, to connect with ASGSR both personally and you know organization wise. Right. Um, so my first encounter, my first event in the space industry 22 years ago was actually an ASGSB when the society was strictly more of a life science centric society, uh, and that event was uh, a joint meeting in in Montreal actually, and folks that I met at that event are still some of my dearest friends in the, in the, in the industry and now are even some of our coworkers. Um, and, and so ASGSR now uh, really plays a central role in, um, in uh, my success in my career and in the success of, of our company, Redwire, which Redwire now under, the, under that banner consists of the, the former company, a company formerly known as TechShot, which was had a lot of life science background, uh, serving life science customers. Uh, another company that folks would would know and remember is uh, is called Made in Space, right? And yep. that was had a lot of material science uh, work that, that they were doing and, and still do. But together now we're all under this family uh, under the banner of Redwire. So the, the the members of our society, whether again they're life or physical sciences researchers, are the lifeblood of our our business unit. And uh, so I just love to help and work with professional investigators of, of every stripe. Well, let's talk about that. I know one of the, the great things about ASGSR is, is it brings together so many different people. We've got people from NASA, people from industry, students, researchers, et cetera. Um, how can people make the most of their networking with you? You know, who are you looking to connect with and might what might be some common points you can connect on? Right. So, um, yeah, I just I, I love being a part of this this continuum of people that help work with investigators who have an idea. They want to do something in space. They want to 
they want to, um, you know, they, maybe they've done something on the ground for years in a certain way, but they need, they, they need the difference that microgravity can introduce, right? Different is good you know, uh, many times in research, right? Um, and, and so connecting with us, just sitting down and listening, and we're always eager to, to listen to what an, a, an investigator or a prospective investigator would like to do, and just have a conversation, kind of like what we're having right now. What do you want to do? At the end of the day, you want your sample process like X. Um, and it's just, it's just a ton of fun to work with someone to kind of back into, well, how would we do that? And what hardware do we need from our catalog of hardware? Um, what, how long do we need to be on orbit? That whole process of working with investigators to get them into space and back and back into their, the sample, back into their lab is um, one that which we really have learned how to do and refine a process. Uh, and how to do that, and and truly one that which we really enjoy for sure. And, and I guess you guys are ideally situated because, as you mentioned before, you had those in-house investigators that were former PIs. Mm -hmm. So does that give them the ability to kind of converse, uh, you know, and more of the language that the researchers speak together? When I know, I know there's research language and then there's proposal language, and so um, do you feel like that's an advantage for your company? Oh, that's a hundred percent. It really is, and. Um, it's certainly a language that I I don't speak, uh, you know, uh, PI language. I, I probably speak proposal language, but PI language, and uh, uh, which is which is great that we do have those people that that understand that understand the goals. Um, it's funny you mentioned that it's like speaking that language. It it's, can seem like a foreign language to anybody yeah. who's maybe not come from this community, um, but one you can pick up, you know, uh, pretty well. We've got the translators on staff, so that's the good news, I guess. Yeah, that's a great point. Well, we covered a lot about Red Wire in just a very short period of time. Is there anything else you would like to tell people about uh, before we go? Well, just just to know that um, you know the, the industry perhaps is in some bit of a transition in terms of the amount of uh, activity, the, the the equipment, the services that that have been provided have traditionally been uh, government provided. And we're sort of seeing this transition into roles for private enterprise. Uh, the space station has been a great incubator for uh, new technologies, but also for new um, ways of doing business and business models. And Redwire is really, I think, um, so well positioned to uh, be a partner with PIs who want to succeed and thrive in this newer era where commercialization and where enterprise is playing a greater and greater role. In fact, Redwire now has seven of its own payloads operating today on board the International Space Station. And soon wow. we'll, have, um, uh, we'll have two more by the end of this year. So nine of our own payloads. Um, and that's, that's sort of a new, a new way of doing things, but I think it's a way that the, the, the investigator benefits from. And I think uh, um, it's really setting the stage too for post ISS life and these investigators that we love to fly on station, being able to serve them, continue to serve them on board private commercial vehicles. Uh, I, I think the future is exciting. I think we're going into an amazing period, not the new golden age of space flight, but the golden age of space flight. And uh, we're just eager to help play a role in that. That's a great point. We hear so, so much about uh, the CLDs, right? The, the commercial low, low earth orbit destinations and right. I think that's just going to be taking off in the in the private flights and uh, everything you covered. So yeah, it seems like Redwire is ideally situated to help people leverage that and take advantage of that. That's right. All right. Well, Rich, thank you so much for joining us and thank you so much for being a gold sponsor of this year's conference. We really appreciate it. Uh, and we can't wait to see you in Houston and, and learn more about your company and all the great things you're doing. See you there, Paul. All right. Thank you so much. We'll see you in Houston.